Hey guys, how is it going? Today's video is about Insomnia, powerful REST API client alternative to Postman. It has a clean and simple user interface, it's available on macOS, Windows and Linux, it has a free plan and it brings lots of cool features like collections, folders, environments and chaining requests. No worries, we will walk through each of them. Let's get started. The first feature is the collection. We can define new project as collections. We also have the chance to import existing collections from a file, URL or Git. Let's get started with a new collection called QA Practice. Secondly, once we have the collection, we can simply organize the endpoints by folders. I am gonna create an authorization folder that contains the endpoint that returns a bearer token value. Right click new folder, auth, and another folder called employees that includes the employee related endpoints. Great! It's time to add the according endpoints. I'm gonna use the QA automation project, so feel free to do the same. You can find its swagger link in the description below. The first request will be a post endpoint that returns the token value. The endpoint requires a JSON body containing a username and a password with the admin value. In the right side of the screen, we got the status code, the response. We also have the option to save it as a JSON file, the response time, the response headers, and so on. Let's continue with a get employees request that requires the token value. Without a token, it will return an error message. Let's copy the token and place it as an authorization header. Let's imagine that we got multiple environments like local, development, staging or production. For each of these, we can define global variables like URLs, body, path or header parameters that get changed accordingly. I'm gonna create a production environment that holds a prod underline URL variable. We can store the variables as a JSON. Select the environment and in the post token URL, replace it with the variable. Let's test it out and voila, it works like a char. I'm gonna use the same variable for the get endpoint as well.
we already agreed that the get endpoint requires a token value. Sadly, this value might expire after a while, so most of the times we will have to send the proposed request, copy the response value and place it in here as an authorization header. Happily, with the chaining method feature, Insomnia automatically can perform the entire process for us under the hood. In order to achieve it, we have to replace this hardcoded value with a response body attribute provided out of the box by Insomnia. Click on it and long story short, whenever we send this get employees request, firstly it will send the post token request, get the entire response that contains also the token value and replace the value in this authorization header. So it's pretty simple. We have to choose which request should be sent first. In our case will be the token request. And we have to filter the response in order to obtain only the token value. We are going to use the dollar sign that will return the entire response as a JSON. And we notice that we have the token property that has the token value. In our case, it will be $.token. We also have a trigger behavior, so we can set it as always in order to resend the request when needed. Done. Great! From now on, whenever we send a get all employees request, under the hood it will send a post token in order to use a fresh token value so we can always get a proper response instead of unauthorized. Simple, isn't it? On the long term, with this approach, I am confident that we will save some precious time.